is Adrienne Lule and I'm an independent beef sales representative for All West Select Sires and I want to walk you through a couple ways to thaw semen and load it into the AI guns and some of the things that I recommend for this. So you're going to need a water bath or some sort of cup container that you can just put warm water in and monitor the temperature on that. This is a Dairy Mac uh, thaw unit that does have a timer on it and tells you the temperature. If you're using a Estratec gun or a combi gun or an ultimate gun, you want the sheath with the pushed blue insert. If you're using the old style donut gun, then you need to use the sheath that has a green insert and a split at the top. So I like to make sure that the top of your water is open and ready. Then I will go to my tank. It's recommended that when you're handling your semen, you use a pair of tweezers. I really like these ones that have the little bent crook in them so that you can grab onto the semen straws, especially the quarter cc ones that are very tiny. And they're different than the older style ones with a channel in it. You will actually hold them horizontal so that you can just grab around one of the semen straws. I'm gonna show you how to get a semen straw out of your tank. You wanna find the cane that you need. You will lower the canister back down and hold the cane at the neck so that you can see the semen that you want. Get your straw and get it in the water and close it up. And then lower the cane back down gently. You don't want to bounce it. You can bounce semen up out of those goblets. The straw needs to thaw for a minimum of 45 seconds, uh, but it can stay in the water bath for up to 15 minutes if you have a problem that you will have trouble with a cow or loading or something like that. It's better to keep it in the stable temperature in the water. Uh, after that, the next best thing would be a AI gun warmer or keeping the gun in your shirt, uh, especially if you're out in adverse weather. While I'm waiting for that to thaw, I like to get everything else ready. I like to fold up my towel pretty neatly so that you have a very clean, crisp area to put that straw in so that you can visualize it well and have it ready so that when you need to pull it out, you can put it directly in the paper towel. When you take the semen straw out, the crimp end should be up. So you'll put it straight into your paper towel and dry it off. So there's a, a heat crimped end right here and there will be an air bubble. So you want to cut below the crimped end but above the semen. Now you can just hold onto it gently. You don't want to squeeze it, but just hold it gently in there so it doesn't fall out. Now you can flip it over and make sure and guide it into the sheath. Just let it kind of gently slide down in. Now you pull out the gun you want. Make sure you pull out the plunger and then put that down in the sheath. If you feel it stop, you can twist and roll it a little bit so that it goes over it. And then in the case of these Estratec guns, you push it down until it just clicks. And so now it is loaded and ready to go in the gun warmer. I'm going to show you the method of thawing and loading the AI gun just in your shirt because a lot of us don't have an AI gun warmer. So you just want to tuck it into your shirt where it is warm and protected. You don't want the semen to be out in the sunlight or um, being exposed to that. Um, so it's good to just keep it tucked where it's warm, especially if it's winter time. While you're waiting for the semen to thaw, you can get your sheath ready and your paper towel. We're gonna go ahead and just grab our semen because this is practice. Again, you wanna cut it perpendicular across it, just below the crimp. It's okay to flip the semen straw over because there are cotton plugs in it and the capillary action keeps the semen up in there. Then you can pull it forward, load it into the sheath, pull your gun out, and you wanna make sure you pull your plunger up before you continue all the way down and then just make sure you push till you hear it kind of click and engage. And now you're ready to go get your glove on, go breed a cow. After you've bred the cow, if you're using an Estratec gun, it has a little trigger that you just push and it pops the sheath off to throw away your sheath and your straw. One of my tips and tricks is that I do not use one of these cutters. I keep this one around to show how most people's straw cutters look, which are pretty gunky and they can have old semen in there. They can be taken apart and cleaned, so if you are good about taking it apart and cleaning it uh, regularly, go ahead and use one. However, I recommend just using a pair of scissors so that you can clean them off on a paper towel and um, you can get a good clean cut across your straw 
and not have to worry about getting into that straw cutter. Mm -hmm.